Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to do the very same problem we did in the previous video, but using the FOIL method. Some of us like this method better. So let's see how this works. Again, we draw a big FOIL, two lines across one another. On the left side, we put in all the combinations that when we multiply, we get 21. For example, 21 and 1, or 1 and 21, or we could have 3 and 7, or 7 and 3. On the right side, we put all the possible combinations to get negative 10. So that means we have uh, a 1 and a 10, a 10 and a 1, we have a 2 and a 5, and a uh, 5 and a 2. And then also we have double that many combinations because we need a negative sign, and the negative sign can end up at the top, or the negative sign can end up at the bottom. However, since we already have all the possible combinations on the left, it's sufficient to put only the negative signs at the top, and we don't need to have, again, another set of four of these with the negative sign on the bottom. Again, the reason? We have all the possible combinations on the left side already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this number times this number, and this number times this number, and when we add that together, we should get a negative 29. However, we could use a little of intuition here because some of them are obviously not a possibility. 21 times 10 gives us 210. There's no way we're going to get down to minus 29, so that's not a, a viable solution. And the next set, 21 times a negative 10 gives us negative 210 again. That's not a reasonable expectation. So it looks like the first two combinations are probably not a good choice, so we're not going to try those. How about what's remaining? So a 3 times 10 gives us 30, and a 7 times a negative 1 gives us negative 7. So let's try that. So we have 30 and minus 7. So 3 times 10 is 30. 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. That gives us a positive 23. That doesn't give us the right combination. How about 7 times a negative 10? Well, that's already negative 70, so we probably don't want to try that. How about the next set? Uh, 7 times a negative 2, well, that gives us negative 14, so let's get rid of that here. 7 times a negative 2 is a negative 14, and 3 times a 5 is plus 15. Well, that doesn't give us a negative 29, so that's not a possibility either. And 3 times 2, and 7 times negative 5, mm, let's see, maybe it does. Let's try that. 7 times negative 5 is negative 35, and 3 times a positive 2 is a plus 6, and go, whoa, bingo. We add them together, and we get negative 29. So that means that this combination, along with, let's see if I remember right, 7 times negative 5, and this combination was the right combination numbers that give us the correct middle term. Now, all we have to do is use those coefficients in our binomials, and so we can write this as the product of two binomials, 3 times x, minus 5, and 7 times x, plus 2. And so that's how we find the factored form of our original trinomial. It's actually kind of fun. And that is how it's done.